Hello, it's Leia. Welcome to game four, I think. Yes. It's hard to know because I've actually had to film this. This will be the third time. So uh, this is the fourth game. It's the first one in Minnesota and it is the game The Wild versus the Senators. Now, at this stage, I've seen the Wild play once before. So that was against um, the Caps in DC and I've seen Ottawa play against the Penguins in Pittsburgh. But I've come to Minnesota because I want to see Flower play. In the DC game, he um, he warmed up like with the team. He was the backup goalie, but he did not start. And I figure if I come to Minnesota or at that stage go to Minnesota and watch two games and then watch a third game, I'm gonna get to Chicago of the Wild. That increases my odds of seeing him start. So that's what that's what we're looking at here. So uh, on game day. I'd only been in Minnesota for a couple of hours, so I just like got ready to go to the game, walk through the Skyway to the game, which is like this. It's like it's, it's I'd seen I'd watched videos on um, Minnesota before I went there, and they were talking about how there's a Skyway that links buildings. And what I thought when I watched those videos is that they just linked one building to another, so you could go you, instead of having to cross the street, you could just cross from. Oh no, it's like a whole network within there that's supplementary to the public transport system so you can go like you're off the street level which makes sense in a place that's really cold has a lot of snow is generally unpleasant in terms of weather uh, because it keeps you like off of the road uh, keeps you warm and dry and safe anyway what I can do is go through the Skyway to the game now it probably works out to be a little bit of a longer walk uh, because you do more of this but um, let's look I, from where, from the hotel that I was in. It wasn't going to be that far anyway because I was less. I picked a hotel that was less than a kilometer away because I knew that I was going to go to two games in there at night and I didn't want to walk too far at night by myself. Anyway, we need to worry about it because I was in the Skyway both times. Anyway, so you get into the Skyway and just weave around until you get to the arena, which is like it's such a bizarre concept but like if the game finishes at 10 10 30 it's a nice feeling though too because it gives you a sense of um safety i guess on the walk back now i don't <laughs> i don't know how actually safe they are look obviously i'm out, i've left minnesota and i'm okay so i never had an issue in the skyway but it's i guess it's that idea because you're not at street level um other people are using the Skyway not a lot depending on the time that you go um, but it there are like CC cameras in there there's also intercom sections in there there are also parts where you can call for an escort and on one day that I was walking through um, look I saw security a few times and then one time when I was there I did see um, a cop on the Segway so <laughs> it is um, safer i guess or at least gives the illusion of perception of safety and sometimes that's really that's the thing that matters the most right if you are actually safe if you don't know but then when you feel safe it's it's the combination of the two anyway so i get to the game and um i think to myself oh i want to buy a jersey and i want to buy a felino one i thought about this a lot which one i would get and then i thought no i'm going to get the felino one because moose is actually one of the first players who i was like aware of i was like oh i, I know who that guy is that's moose that's felino i know who that is and uh look also he's smoking hot but he um also seems like a very good person the felino family seems like a nice family his brother plays too and um he also likes a little bit of punchy and as you know i like a little bit of punchy too like not me personally i like to watch punchy i don't think i don't think i could cop a punch to the face <laughs> or not think i know 100 percent i couldn't cop a punch to the face <laughs> but anyway so i like felino and i think excellent i'm going to get a felino jersey anyway don't have it in my size made up so i can order one i'm like well, i'm not here long enough to get one ordered so I go, you know what, it's fine. 
I'll get another one. So I get a flurry one. Um, and that I'm like, that's fine. I'll do that. Um, it's ready. It's a size smaller than the McKinnon one that I got. But I was like, you know what? If I have a squash into it and I look like a sausage, it is what it is. It's fine. I'm just, at some point it will fit me better. It's fine. Anyway, so I buy it and I also buy um, a couple of pucks because of course, why wouldn't I? And I do ask the guy like, oh, do you have like a game day puck? Because, um, you know, I want one, obviously. And he's like, no, we don't. He's like, but people always ask me about him. See, now this is the thing. After the Pens game where I got one, I just assumed that all the teams did that. And that I was like, we'd made a mistake by not looking for one at the other games that we went to before we went to um, PPG, right? Because we didn't go into the shop in St. Louis or... Um, DC because I was like oh, I don't I don't want any blues or capital stuff so it's fine anyway then I was like oh man we could have got these game day pucks anyway turns out they don't have them when I went to the Colorado pens game I think a lot of people penguin people must have been asking for one and they because when I said no oh, yeah, game day they're like no there's no game day pucks no this is the only pucks we've got so I assume that that, that like me those other people think that other venues must have them too they do not anyway I've got two plain ones right just two um, wild ones. Anyway, it, I, it, I, one of the reasons I like the wild is I think their logo is really nice. And it is the opposite of what I normally like. I feel like, generally speaking, the more simple a logo, the better. Because you want something that is easy, like scalable, you know, to the size of a building, but also can fit nicely on a polo. And, you know, also something that kids can draw because that's a thing that kids like to do when they're a fan of a team but make an exception for this slightly complicated logo because I think it's so nice also I think the green is very nice and I like this I feel like the wild stuff particularly in the dark or forest green is it feels like a cabin lodge and I said that to my mum before it feels like a warm cabin you know what I mean like you can say like there's a fire burning there's snow falling it's a nice lodge right it's a nice little cabin anyway it turns out that their shop is called their pro shop is called the hockey lodge <laughs> isn't that so good anyway so <clears throat> I get my flower jersey I try it on I'm like oh it fits it's fine I can wear this one anyway so go in uh, when I do ask a guy about their um puck so he says oh they'll bring out the warm-up ones he's like but it will be right after the start of the game I'm like well I'm not going to come in then because I don't want to miss part of the game to get him so um I guess I miss out but at first intermission I go upstairs go, like pretty quickly I'm up the top of it and I see and you know you know what I'll just go check if they've got any of the um warm-up pucks and they did surprise shorty now, you might be thinking, why do I have two? Well, because I've got two hands and two eyes. Obviously, I need two. No, it's because um, I got one for mum. So, you can see there it says on there, Minnesota versus Ottawa, and then um, April 2, 2024. And then it says on the back, official warm-up puck. So, and then the 23-24. I don't know if that's blurry or not, but anyway, I've read it out to you, so you don't need to worry about whether you can see it or not. So, um... You don't need to worry. I already, she already knows that I got these. I can't keep a good surprise. I'm incapable of holding a good surprise in. So anyway, she knows that she knows that this is coming. Anyway, so watch the game. Um, and this day I am at the um, opposition attacks twice, and I've picked this one specifically because if Flower is playing, I want to see him as as well as I can and as much as I can. So I'm about, I don't know, I think I'm like row six or something, and um, yeah, and down that end. And, but you know, angle where I can, you know what, I'll be describing this, but you'll be able to see it in the picture where I can see him front on. <laughs> So I'm very happy with this because you know you get to see how um, how he gets himself ready, how he sets himself for each play, and then how then he moves around during the play, which is really like that's a great thing to watch, especially if you're not as familiar with the game like me. Like I didn't grow up with hockey, so when they do a thing, I, I don't instinctively know what they're doing, and I don't 
automatically know what they're doing or what their plan is. So it's good for me when I get to see more of the gameplay. Anyway, it is it is a good game. Um, well, I mean, if you're going if you're going for the wild, it's a good game. I don't know if it's a good game if you're um, going for the senators. Well, actually, I know for sure it's not a good game if you're going for the senators. But um, it is. Man, there's a siren central around here. I thought it was bad at night, but I haven't really been in here during the day, so I don't know. Uh, anyway, um, from our spot, we see Boldy get a goal right in front of us. Looks very nice. Very nice bit of play. There's um, a bit of a shit storm later on because down the other end, um, Kirill gets a goal, or what we all think is a goal. But it's not called a goal and there's no review on it. And it's because, like, when we watch the replay, it very clearly looks like a goal. Because, again, he just, he knocks it in. But I don't know if, um, if, well, obviously, I'm guessing now we know that the play must have been called, had been stopped, had been called. So they couldn't, he couldn't have just kept playing because the game had stopped. But obviously like we could you can't see that in real time all the time right couldn't hear it couldn't see it and then in the replay when you're watching on the jumbotron you can't hear it or see it either right you're just seeing the, um, you're just seeing the play but you can't see you can't see the refs and you can't hear a whistle right so you don't know but i'm assuming obviously that the play had stopped and that's the reason his goal didn't count but we're not very happy because it looked like a bloody good goal also though this did mean this did mean that i got to witnessed my first uh, refuse suck chart, which was pretty good. Obviously, I've never seen one before. I wish that it was something that we adopted in um, the AFL because I feel like sometimes we'll just boo an umpire, but I feel like a boo is not enough. Sometimes I feel like the whole crowd really just needs to like come together as one and be like, and just really let them know that they suck. But we don't do that. I mean, we wouldn't say ref because obviously we don't say ref. But we could say ump. We could say ump, you suck. Oh, that doesn't really flow as well. But anyway, I feel like we should have a better communal outrage rather than just booing. Because booing is a bit generic and I feel like you suck is a lot more personal. Anyway, that's, that's probably because I'm a bit of a jerk. It's probably why I think that's a better thing to do. Anyway, it is a very good game for me because like I said I get to see flower twice um the Gosian is playing uh Felino isn't playing which is a bit disappointing but you know uh, like my mum pointed out to me before, you have seen him at least once, Leah. Lots of people have never seen him at all. I oh, hate when she's right, by the way. Yeah, so it is It is a very good game. It's very exciting. It's fun. Like, it's 90s night as well, so the music is really good. It's really, it's so fun. <laughs> I guess it depends how old you are, how much you like the music or not, but I thought it was really good. And the DJ did a very good job of like, um, of like 
switching between songs and song choice and the way that they flowed together. It was really, it was so good. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was a fun game. Also, the um, the Wild's Goal Celebration song is very good. I had, I wanted to hear the Blackhawks one because it's like a fun song too anyway. Um, when the Blackhawks, this is a spoiler for a couple of episodes from now, but when the Blackhawks played the Wild, um, it was a shutout. So there was no, I didn't get to hear the song at all. Also, I didn't get to hear like um, the Blink-182 at either of the Avs games. So I'm like, oh God, God. I mean, look, I know that these are periphery things, right? It's not the whole, it's not the only thing you're there for, but it's nice to get a holistic experience, right? Experience all of it. But anyway, um, it was fun. It was fun. It was a good crowd and there was heaps of, uh, like, it was all wild. I didn't see a single Senators fan there. Look, obviously, I didn't, I didn't ask everyone in the crowd, but, you know, generally speaking, you can see different jerseys or something around or you can still I was gonna say you can see them when they clap something but there weren't really a lot to clap No, I didn't, didn't really see any and I was, <laughs> I was a little bit worried actually then um, getting ready to go to the Avs game against the Wild because I was going to be wearing my McKinnon jersey to that one and I was like what if um, what if they're mean? I don't know, again, that's probably more about me being by myself going into that space rather than like I'd never, again, I'd never seen or heard anything about Wild fans that... Um, should have worried me but I did think what if they're mean to me and then I thought well you know what I'll just cry but I'll cry in Australian which means I'll cry and then I'll call someone the c word right <laughs> that's to make my mum real proud anyway not only did um Flower start but he had a really good game and he got named the second star of the game and uh Bogosian, who of course um the long-haired beardy friend formerly of the bolts he was a first star and if you don't know the first star is like the equivalent of the bog so that's pretty good right anyway it's good for me good game for both the players that i wanted to see and there was one bit of play where bogosian is given um one of the forwards from the senators a bit of stick in the crease and not letting him get settled into position and then um when the puck does come in there's a little bit of a deflection and then flower catches it just like pew. Oh, it was a nice little bit of play. Easy for me to see, like, right in front of me. Not not too congested in the crease. So, anyway, it was very, it was very good. was a very fun game it was a great music a great atmosphere um it's it's a nice arena too actually it's well laid out the hockey lodge is a cool it's a cool concept shop and it's it's got it's got heaps good it's got heaps of nice stuff in there anyway um thus as an aside because the smaller jersey fit me i was like you know what i'm gonna just go back 
another day when I was just around town. I thought, I'm gonna go and check what size I've got in the Felino one. Anyway, guess what? I got one too. <laughs> I was like, this one is a size smaller than this one and it fits. It's snug, but it still fits. I was like, hey, that's fine. Anyway, there we go. So, I just, I just really, I just really wanted the Felino one because, like I said, he was the first, one of the first players who I really was able to recognise when he was playing, and um, and you know when you just, you know when you dislike someone, right? Anyway, so that's it. I just like someone, so I got his one too. Also, I like I said, I love this green so much. I just think that the, I just think the wild branding is so good, it's so good. Anyway, so that was game. One, two, three, four. Game four overall. And um, it was a lot of fun. And if you go to Minnesota, I recommend heading to Excel. I think it's Excel Center. And watching a game. Also, actually, I got a pretzel and it was really delicious. But anyway, that's it. All right. Love you. Miss you. Bye.